so big we hustle, but the nothing. Hi everyone. The CBR 1000 RRR Fire Blade takes a huge step forward in development, with its 1000cc inline 4-cylinder semi-cam gear engine in a new state of tune to deliver even stronger mid-range acceleration as well as huge top-end power. The cylinder head, compression ratio, valve timing and springs have all been revised, the crankshaft and con rods are lighter and there are new, shorter ratios all the way through gearbox. Two motor throttle by wire adds precise control and feel at lower RPM, with more engine braking if required. The aluminium diamond style frame has a new, more pliant character to improve steering accuracy and traction. Specification also includes an RC213 VS derived swing arm, 6 axis inertial measurement unit, 3 level Honda electronic steering damper, Showa 43mm big piston fork, balance free rear cushion light rear shock and Nissan 4 piston front calipers. New inlets maintain downforce but with 10% less yaw moment and cornering. The riding position too has been adjusted to allow more control for the rider. A full color DFD screen offers intuitive control of riding modes and adjustment of power, engine brake, HSTC, wheelie control and start mode, all settings have been revised to match the new power delivery and gearing. Cornering ABS now features an extra race setting. Honda's emergency stop signal and smart key remains the finishing touch. Since its original 1992 introduction Honda's iconic Fireblade has evolved into an incredible 1000cc sports motorcycle. And it's also been the base of a competitive race machine, on short circuits around the world and the roads of the Isle of Man TT. But time, and competition, always races on and in 2000 Honda drew the line under where the CBR 1000RR Fireblade had been and looked forward to where it was going. And, as a result, two brand new motorcycles, the CBR 1000 RRR Fireblade and CBR 1000 RRR Fireblade SP, were created with heavy involvement from Honda Racing Corporation to carry the legend forward. Leaning heavily on the engine and chassis technology of the RC213 VS Street Legal MotoGP machine, with aerodynamics drawn from the RC213 V MotoGP bike, the new Fireblade was designed from the ground up, in terms of engine, handling and aerodynamics, for pure, outright track performance. 2022 marked 30 years of the Fireblade which saw the introduction of a variety of detail upgrades to the engine to boost acceleration, the intake ports, airbox, airbox funnels and exhaust midsection were all revised to deliver extra mid-range thrust. The final drive sprocket also went up 3 teeth, to 43, with quick shifter performance upgraded. Honda selectable torque control was also optimized for refined rear tire traction management, and throttle feel improved. 2024 sees the Fireblade drive further up its development curve once again. A host of engine and gearbox updates deliver a substantial mid-range performance boost, alongside improved throttle response and detailed riding position changes with the aim of producing the bike you need to win out of the box and, at the same time, elevating the riding experience out on the open road. The Fireblade's inline 4-cylinder semi-cam gear engine delivers 113 Nm torque and makes peak power of 160 kW. And while the headline figures are familiar, the delivery through the rev range has been completely changed, the product of a huge amount of HRC development and know-how to generate corner exit acceleration topped by massive top-end power. The addition of two motor throttle by wire increases part throttle control and allows amplified engine braking if required. Compression ratio has been raised, intake ports adjusted, and valve timing altered in conjunction with new valve springs, a lighter crankshaft and optimized, lighter titanium conrods. All gear ratios have been made shorter to increase drive force to the rear wheel. The 421 exhaust downpipes are ovalized and feed a titanium Akrapovich muffler now slightly larger in volume but 5 decibels quieter in operation. Three default riding modes cover a wide range of conditions with options to fully adjust power, engine brake, wheelie control and HSTC. All settings have been revised to match the new power output character. The electronics package also includes adjustable start mode. As before, the aluminium diamond frame uses the rear of the engine as upper shock mount while the swing arm is based on the RC213 VS design. The rigidity balance has been carefully optimized, and made more pliant to exploit the engine's performance in terms of feel for front and rear grip levels, and steering accuracy. A 6-axis inertial measurement unit provides accurate 3D estimation of riding dynamics and provides input to manage all of the electronic systems. 
It also controls the Rod Type 3 level Honda electronic steering damper. Showa's 43mm big piston fork is matched to a Showa balance free rear cushion light. The front discs are worked by Nissan 4 piston calipers, while cornering ABS now features race mode which allows the rear ABS to be turned off. A redesigned fairing midsection houses new winglets that generate downforce to improve braking stability and consistent front end grip but with 10% less effort through high speed corners. The riding position has also been adjusted to elevate control, with handlebars higher and foot pegs lower. The fully customizable 5-inch DFD display offers intuitive control via a 4-way switch on the left handlebar. Now, on cold start, the red line moves up the RPM scale as operating temperature is reached. Honda's smart key system adds convenience and the emergency stop signal increases visibility to road users behind. The 24YMCBR1000RRR Fireblade will be available in one color option, Grand Prix Red, Tricolor, with solid red front fairing. The Fireblade's 1000cc, inline DOHC 4-cylinder semi-cam gear engine was designed with heavy input from the HRC MotoGP development program. For 2024 it delivers peak power of 160 kW at 14,000 revolutions per minute with peak torque of 113 Nm at 12,000 revolutions per minute. A huge amount of HRC development has gone into the engine to change the way it delivers power and torque throughout the rev range, with the goal of increasing drive force to the rear wheel in every gear. While continuing to share the same over square 81mm bore and 48.5mm stroke as the RC213V, valve timing, duration and lift, had been revised for 2024 and compression ratio raised from 13.4 to 1 to 13.6 to 1. The inlet valves are 32.5 mm diameter with 28.5 mm exhaust, they're operated by finger follower rocker arms, valve angle on the intake side is 9 degrees, reducing the surface area of the combustion chamber and improving combustion efficiency. Also newer three-stage elliptical progressive springs for both inlet and exhaust, while the intake ports have been optimized for gas flow. MotoGP technology is everywhere internally. Friction is reduced by the use of diamond-like carbon on the cam lobes, just like the RC213 VS. 20Y marked the first time this process was used on a mass-produced motorcycle. It produces a reduction in valve train frictional loss of 35% compared to non-DLC coated lobes. The valve train itself uses a semi-cam gear train system. To drive such high RPM high cam lift performance the chain is driven from the timing gear located on the crankshaft via the cam idle gear, this makes it shorter in length. For 2024 the crankshaft pin and journal diameters have been optimized, saving 450 grams of inertial mass. Forged TI-64A titanium con rods and con rod caps save 50% in weight compared to the previous chromium molybdenum steel versions, they're even lighter for 2024 and employ HB149 chromium molybdenum vanadium, steel bolts and do not use fastening nuts. For durability the same configuration as the RC213 VS is applied to the sliding surfaces, the small end bushings are made of shaped C1720 height beryllium copper while the surfaces of the big ends are treated with DLC. The pistons are forged aluminium for lightweight strength, durability and increased output. To guarantee high RPM wear resistance the piston skirts feature an ober coating and nickel phosphorus plating for the piston pin clip groove. Managing temperature, the pistons themselves, now constructed from tougher material, use a multi-point piston jet which sprays cooling oil in multiple directions through each cycle. At low RPM check walls within the jet shut off the flow of oil in order to limit oil pressure loss and reduce friction. The oil ring features a new side rail barrel shape. To reduce bore distortion, the cylinder features a built-in bottom bypass. This system circulates cool water from the radiator into the main water jacket, while the area below uses non-cooled water. The net effect is a lower, and more even, temperature at all points across the bores. To minimize width, the engine is started by rotation of the clutch main shaft rather than the crankshaft. This design allows for a more compact crankshaft while double use of the primary driven gear to also transmit rotation from the starter motor safe space. The engine is short in length, with short distances between the crankshaft, counter shaft and main shafts. The rear of the engine block also serves as upper shock mount. 250 grams has been shaved from the crankcase for 2024. Improving drive out of corners on track, all of the gear ratios as well as the primary drive are now shorter. Air is fed into the engine via ram air duct located at the high surface pressure tip of the front fairing. 
The size of its aperture is equivalent to that of the RC213V MotoGP machine. A rib turbulator to the right, left and above the duct entrance ensures maximum induction of moving air with minimal impact on handling. The draft angle of the aperture's interior wall maintains flow under high speed and acceleration. To maintain stable performance across a wide speed range, pressurized air takes a straight shot through the headstock, around the steering stem and into the airbox. This smooth path is made possible by Honda's smart key system and steering angle of 25 degrees. To draw the volume of air needed the throttle bodies employ 52 mm diameters. The dirty side of the air filter controls the direction of intake air separation and vortex generation, while on the clean side, filtered air feeds slash cut intake funnels. Mirroring the intake side, the four exhaust downpipes use an oval cross-section. Constructed from titanium, the Akrapovich muffler's small physical size and light weight contribute to mass centralization and right-side lean angle. It's now 1 liter larger in volume. The exhaust valve was designed to deliver both low RPM torque and high RPM power. For 2024 the level of sound output has been reduced as the valve switches. 5 decibels quieter than the previous design, the exhaust note also rises linearly with engine RPM. The 2017 CBR1000RR was the first inline four-cylinder engine from Honda to use throttle by wire. Derived and developed from the system used by the RC213 VS, it controls the throttle butterfly valve angle to provide a linear delivery and puts precise throttle control, and a natural feel, in the rider's right hand. It's a critical area and in 2022 the TBW return spring load was reduced, further enhancing the response and linearity of throttle input. To take the engine to the next level of control, and a first for a Honda, the TBW is now a two-motor system, one motor for cylinders 1 and 2, the other for 3 and 4. Through smaller throttle opening cylinders 1 and 2's throttle valves open first to finally adjust output and generate crank rotation fluctuations. This makes the engine's power delivery easier to control and use through the lower RPM ranges. As revs climbs, all throttle valves open together, for a smooth rush of top-end power. The other benefit of two-motor TBW is the amplification of engine braking. With the throttle fully closed during deceleration, cylinders 3 and 4 open with the exhaust valve closed to increase the engine's pumping loss, and therefore engine braking, while cylinders 1 and 2 are closed, ready to open smoothly on the next acceleration. For the 9-level Honda selectable torque control and other 2022 update improved feel. The gap between the intervention timing and slip rate control, was changed to give much smoother, intuitive grip management, with software developed with wide-ranging, top-level feedback from around the world, including HRC's riders. For 24 YM the HSTC has been optimized for the engine's new power output characteristics and revised gear ratios. There are three default riding modes with options to change engine output and character. Power operates through levels 1 to 5 with 1 giving ultimate outright power. Engine brake manages performance on a closed throttle through levels 1 to 3, with 1 being the strongest engine braking delivered by the 2-motor TBW. Wheelie manages through levels 1 to 3 with 1 giving the weakest intervention. All settings across the board have been revised for 2024. Wheelie control uses information gathered by the EMU on the fire blade's pitch angle, along with front and rear wheel speed sensors to maintain torque and manage the wheelie without sacrificing forward drive. The fire blade is also equipped with start mode for race starts. It limits engine RPM at 6000, 7000, 8000 and 9000 revolutions per minute set points, even with a wide open throttle, letting the rider focus on clutch release alone. The diamond style mainframe is constructed from 2mm aluminium with an extremely accurate tuning of the rigidity balance. In manufacture, after the four mainframe components are welded, the engine mounts in six locations improving machine handling. For 2024 internal ribbing has been removed, the thin wall area expanded and shaping optimized. A total 960 grams has been shaved from the frame, with a further 140 grams from shorter engine hanger bolts. But the main aim of the work is to adjust the rigidity balance for a more supple handling feel with razor-sharp steering accuracy, lateral stiffness is reduced 17%, with 15% less torsional stiffness. Wheelbase is set at 1450 mm, with rake and trail of 23 degrees and 56 minutes, 100.8 mm. Wet weight is 200 kg. Weight distribution is balanced at 53% to 47% while a high CFG improves side-to-side -side agility. The swing arm, constructed from 18 individual thicknesses of aluminium and as used by the RC213VS, 
is 622.7 mm long. Its horizontal and vertical rigidity are tuned to generate grip and feel. Seat height is 830 mm, and the riding position has been subtly adjusted for 2024 to allow more freedom of control. The handlebars are 19 mm higher, and 23 mm closer, with foot pegs set 16 mm lower. With its large damping volume, the Shoei 43 mm big piston fork inverted telescopic forks effectively reduce hydraulic pressure generated under compression and extension. This results in reduced play during the initial stroke and smoother damping, maximizing tire contact with the tarmac. The rear shock is a fully adjustable show of balance free rear cushion light. The Nissan 4 piston radial mount front brake calipers utilize a piston material and surface treatment that together dissipate and manage heat, to maintain lever feel. They grip 330 mm diameter, 5 mm thick discs. The rear brake caliper is the same Brembo unit used by the RC213 BS. A Bosch 6-axis inertial measurement unit delivers accurate calculation of pitch and roll for precise control of the bike's behavior. The fire blade is also equipped with Showa's Honda electronic steering damper, a lightweight, through rod design that mounts on the bottom of the steering stem and attaches to the bottom yoke. Hezd is controlled by input from the wheel speed sensors and EMU. Rear lift control and ABS managed brake force relative to lean angle boost confidence on turn-in. New for 24YM the system features now features three switchable setups, standard mode focuses on road riding performance, with high brake force and less pitching, while track mode offers performance in braking from much higher circuit speeds and does not suppress rear lift. Race mode switches off the rear ABS function completely, with no cornering ABS input. An aggressive fairing design is no mere styling exercise, it's designed to create a class-leading drag coefficient and restrict lift under acceleration while improving braking stability. The fairing midsection houses reshaped, more forward-set winglets which now generate downforce, to reduce wheelies under acceleration and increase stability on braking and corner entry, with an aerodynamic frontal step. The new design reduces yaw moment through a corner by 10% to make high-speed turning easier. To make steering easier a convex surface on each side of the front modguard moves airflow away from the front wheel, smoothly directing it to the fairing sides. Cooling air for radiator and oil cooler is optimized by aerodynamic management of both velocity and pressure of air flowing from the tire. A new lower fairing design extends close to the rear tire and now features an aerodynamic step to reduce airflow around the rear tire improving handling. To let air flow around the rider's feet with minimum resistance the sides of the rear hugger are carefully shaped, while its upper side is cut out to vent air that channels up from underneath either side of the swing arm, decreasing rear lift. The fuel tank cover is set low, decreasing the frontal area with the rider prone. It's been reshaped to improve the rider's knee grip and fuel capacity has been increased. 4 liters to 16.5 liters. At a 35 degrees angle the screen smoothly channels air flow from the upper fairing over the rider and seat cowl which itself presents the minimum possible drag resistance. For full and intuitive control of the Fireblade systems there's a high-resolution, full-color 5-inch DFD screen. It's fully customizable to show exactly what the rider wants to see. The compact left-hand switch gear houses a four-way switch, fast and easy to use, the top bottom button set riding mode parameters, while the left-right button cycle screen display information. Honda's smart key system operates the ignition without having to insert a key, and the handlebar lock. This is both convenient in day-to-day -day use and allows use of a competition-style Tapio, with optimum space for the Ram Air system. The CBR1000RRR Fireblade also features emergency stop signal, that on sudden braking the rear indicators are activated to warn road users behind. Thanks for watching.